So there's an urgent need for development of special strategies to help make the current treatment against TB work better. So my work is really more on that. So I, I, I look at what is known as host-directed therapies, which basically is aimed at understanding what's happening within the human that is infected with TB, as opposed to understanding what's happening to the bacteria. So upon inhalation of the bacteria that causes TB, the bacteria goes down into our lungs and it settles in some some components of the lung known as alveoli and then there the bacteria now is surrounded by our own immune system cells some of them are called macrophages some are called dendritic cells and they go around the bacteria at the center and there's also impressive layers that give an intact impressive arrangement of cells that confine the bacteria at the center of the structure so it is believed that a number of people who are exposed to bacteria, they have the bacteria in their, lung, in their lungs, but they will never develop active disease in their lifetime. So such people are said to be protected by a strong immune system that is characterized by these beautiful structures called granuloma. However, things can go wrong. Um, things can go wrong, that this impressive structure called granuloma can actually collapse, leading to other stages uh, of this form of a granuloma. So this is a solid granuloma. So it can undergo some rearrangements within our lungs, leading to formation of structures called cassium just at the center where the bacteria is. And a further rearrangement of these particular structures can form a granuloma that is known as cavitary granuloma. Cavitary granuloma is characterized by holes which are the, are the center of this structure. And that those holes make the bacteria now spread throughout the lung. And also the holes that are exposed to airways can now make the bacteria be coughed out. So we're looking at stages from a beautiful containment of a structure like that, that then undergoes a dissociation or a collapse. And when it collapses, that's when we have the active disease. So my work seeks to address what causes such collapse of these structures. So, so we look, so we use tissues from lungs. So these lungs are taken from patients who were treated by surgery because of severe damage during TB disease. So we use those tissues and then we get different forms of granulomas ranging from solid, caseous and cavitary representing disease progression. So what we do then, we use laser to dissect pieces within these lungs. And then when we dissect those pieces, we make them in look, we dissolve them to look at form and we inject them into a technique called mass spec. And then analyzing mass spec, we also use computational um, uh, data, computational huge data set analysis form called proteomics. So what proteomics give you now is a number of cells or number of proteins that are associated with each disease stage during TB progression. So in that way, you can extrapolate all proteins that are promoting disease progression by making granulomas collapse. So in that way, then we have a set of proteins that can actually be inhibited to limit tissue damage. That's what host-directed therapy means. So the idea is to use those drugs together with the currently available treatment protocols that target the bacteria. Advantages of such approach is that we are going to shorten treatment therapy and we're likely to deal with the problem of resistance because resistance is caused by mutations in the bacteria. But these drugs are targeting our own proteins. So this, this is going to require a great work, a collaboration and communication between basic clinical scientists as well as policymakers to come with a system that will integrate these uh, treatment strategies into a working healthcare system that can help eradicate TB in our lifetime. 
Nelson Mandela used to say, I am inspired by men and women who have chosen the world as a theater of their own operation. And looking in this room, I see that saying represented very well. I see men and women who have actually, who have a desire to, pro to pursue a societal impact. And I see a capacity and a platform through NEV where we can actually address problems that are affecting Africa and rise Africa, rise. Thank you so much.